everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, it's yet another episode of Domestic Goddess. Ooh. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've said that. It's been so long since we've done a Domestic Goddess. And honestly, this is an emergency because I saw this at the store and I thought we have to talk about this. Now, there has been a recurring problem with me and the Dolly Parton cake line. They don't have a chocolate option until now. That's right, they have a chocolate flavor, but I wanted a chocolate cake and by God, we finally have one. So, I have here the chocolate cake from Dolly Parton, yes. Favorite chocolate flavored cake mix is what it's called. Um, now there's one grape I have with the Dolly Parton cake mix line. I wish they had more fun with the titles. Like the names should be a little more fun. Like in my Tennessee mountain cake. Who knows what that is, but who cares? All right, I wanna try that. Now in previous videos, I have tried to make cake mixes chocolate using cocoa with, you know, results. But we have a chocolate flavored cake now and we're gonna make it happen. All right, so. Let's do this. Okay, let's get Dolly Partonized. Now, I bought a bunch of Dolly themed stuff. Like, I have Dolly Parton themed coasters. Like, hard to be a diamond in a rhinestone world. <laughs> if you want to be a rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain. What would Dolly do? Should get someone else to make this damn cake, that's for sure. I know she's not in her kitchen cooking. Let's look at the instructions. What does it say here? You will need one and one half cups of water, which I'm substituting for almond milk because I just like it that way. Four large eggs, which I have four. Four eggs? Jesus Christ, what am I making, an omelet? Eight tablespoons of melted butter. <laughs> well, the butter's somewhat melted. So, in the meantime, oh, it's kind of squishy. Oh, thank God, I left the butter out and I thought I had done it on accident and it turns out I actually did it on purpose and forgot what the purpose was. Blonde moments. One, two, three, four. Ernie, what's four plus four? Eight. Okay, we're good, we're good, we got it, we got it. We have this all figured out. Okay, look at that. This is simple enough, it's just like a standard cake mix. Let's do this, all right. How hard could it be? Whisk cake mix, water, eggs, and melted butter and oil together in a large bowl until well blended about one minute Pour into pan. All of it together. Well, whatever. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's make it happen. And if you spill a little on the counter, just use it for contour. Honestly, it's fine. Don't let it go to waste. All right. What else? What else? What else? Butter. In my Tennessee mountain cake. One and one half cups of water. We can do this. Okay, measurements are my, are my strong suit, as you all know this. Okay, so one and one half. Okay, so all the way up here at this line right here, right there, that's what we need. <laughs> it's Dolly's face. Okay, one and one half cup of, of, of milk water. And we just slowly drip that into the, into the cake mix, singing as many Dolly Parton songs as you can. Which I can't do any because we're on YouTube and it's third party and they're very strict about that. Let's see. Eggs. Okay, let's see if I can crack these in here and not get any shells. One, no shells. Two, no shells. Although one landed on my dress, which I'm not happy about. Three, four eggs is like excessive. It's a very egg heavy cake. It's a breakfast cake. All right, two tablespoons of oil. Look, I actually got proper measuring tools. These are the ones you use for liquids, I learned, and these are actually for dries. Which, y'all have tried to tell me that in the past and I haven't listened to you, but look at me. I'm learning. All right. And then we just blend that all together. Mixing, 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 mixing. Whew, beating that better like I beat my face. Like Dolly Parton beat down Jolene when she tried to take her man. <laughs> Can I just say something? Something that always made me wonder about that song Jolene is the way she talks about her. It kind of sounds like she wants to make out with her. Like it's very complimentary, which is very odd for like a song about, you know, calling out the lady that's trying to take your guy. She's like, you got beautiful hair and beautiful eyes. Are you that concerned about her taking your man? Cause it kind of sounds like you're into her. Anyways, just a food for thought. Speaking of food. <laughs> Set you right there. No one's licking those. It's raw egg and it. lots and lots of raw egg. We're not rocky over here. With my Tennessee mountain cake. Let's see if I can add this into the bowl and not mess anything up and not make a disaster on my floor. 
because I have a beautiful pink kitchen. Yes, this is my kitchen. That looks like it's one. I feel like I divided it up pretty good. It's like chocolate. It looks like a cake. That's what the goal is, right? Make a cake. Maybe like two doors down cake. Probably not. Jolene's special ambrosia salad. I'm just trying to give you ideas here, Dolly. You got the songs. So you might as well like, you know, capitalize on it. Look at me trying to give Dolly Parton <laughs> business advice. <laughs> as if she needs any more. I gotta throw these in the oven for exactly 24 to 28 minutes. So we shall come back when it is all baked and risen and then we're gonna decorate it because what we love decorating in here. So I'll be right <laughs> back. Ooh, welcome back, y'all. Oh my God, the cakes are done and they look supreme. Like, they look good. So let's just mix up our chocolate butter cream frosting. Again, what could we call this that actually would go with theme, you know? I feel like we need to get more Dolly with these names. Joshua's buttercream? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not that. <laughs> Maybe not that. Okay, never mind. Ugh, to be a domestic goddess. Again, I didn't have a cake slicer because the one that Darren gave me, I like left it in the drawer too long and I got tangled up with stuff. So yeah, it's no longer with us. I threw it out. We're just gonna do a regular bulky cake. And you know what? It doesn't matter if a cake is ugly as long as it tastes good. That's the rule I go by, okay? And that's the rule of life. As long as it tastes good, it doesn't matter. Dolly wouldn't mind. She'll eat my cake. All right. <clears throat> Okay, then we just gotta lay it on here and hopefully I don't splash chocolate all over my dress. Oh, we did it! My mom's used to make birthday cakes like this. Ugh, homemade birthday cake. Well, homish made birthday cake. <laughs> as homemade as you're gonna get. All right, ooh. I don't think I'll have enough frosting to do a whole cake, but we're gonna try as much as we can. I might have been a little too generous with it in the center, but again, I don't care. You guys don't understand how excited I am. And I'm gonna take credit for it because I, in my previous videos, mentioned that they needed a chocolate option and they did not have one. And now would you look at it? It took almost two years, but now we have it. I did that for you. I convinced Duncan Hines to create a chocolate cake even though they probably had one in production down the line planned. I feel like it was my doing. So you're all welcome. So if you're enjoying delicious Dolly Parton chocolate cake, you have me to thank. I wonder what her homemade cakes looked like, if she ever baked cakes. I wonder if she actually does cook. She seems like that type. <laughs> Carries around her secret cornbread recipes in her breasts. Oh, I might have overmixed it because it's a little goopy now, but you know what? It's fine. In my Tennessee mountain cake. Oh my God. You know what? It's okay. You know, wildflowers don't care where they grow. You just fill in the gaps. Oh my goodness. This is looking amazing, okay? you. You can talk shit, but it looks incredible. All right, now I'm gonna keep frosting this and I'll be right <laughs> back. All right, here we are. We have our wonderful Tennessee mountain cake. Now I have here some green sprinkle or sugar bits that I'm gonna put on top to add like a green effect to it. So it looks like a mountainside, look at that. Maybe not, but you know what? We're gonna use our imagination, okay? Look at that. It's a mountain now or a... a a big hill with, you know, grass on top. That's what it's supposed to be. Anyways, this is our cake. I am so excited it is all done now. We have to cut into this bad boy and see how it tastes because this is the ultimate test to see how the chocolate cake actually tastes. I'm excited, let's see. Let's just dig right into it. And watch, this is the time where I actually like plop it onto my dress and get it all messy. Ha ha, look at that. There's our cake, our the hell she call this thing? Favorite chocolate cake. Again, I'm calling it Tennessee Mountain Cake. Okay, that's what it is. All right, that's my name. I renamed it. You're welcome, Dolly. You're welcome, darling. And also, I want to say thank you to our certain subscriber that sent me this. Thank you so much. I love it. It's a display for a cookbook, but I use it to display Dolly Parton's cake mix. It has multiple purposes. Dual purposes, they say. <gasps> Let's see how this chocolate cake tastes. <laughs> Okay, it's a chocolate cake. <laughs> it's kind of rich, which I was not expecting, like a dark chocolate cake. I guess I was expecting more like a traditional, but it's it's pretty good. I have to say it's like devil's food. If I had to like think of a cake that's giving me, it's giving me devil's food cake or Dolly's food cake, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> got to trademark everything. But it's sick thing though. I am glad there's not a chocolate cake. When it comes to doing go-to chocolate cake mixes for like cupcakes or chocolate cakes that I need to make, we're going to Dolly. I like the formula, like it tastes good, but also 
If I have to support anyone, I'm gonna support Dolly Parton over anyone else. Betty Crocker, take a hike, bitch. It's about Dolly now. She is now the queen of cakes. Thanks, Dolly. You're welcome, darling. Oh my goodness. Now, this has been so much fun. I'm so glad there's finally a chocolate cake. All is right in the universe. Oh my goodness. Look what I manifested. Look what I made happen. You're all so welcome. Now, if you don't mind, I have to eat an entire cake by myself. I'm not sharing with anyone. I'm gonna be like a trunchable and eat an entire large sheet cake by myself. And if anyone tries it, this is getting smashed over their head, okay? Now, I have to give some shout outs, okay? I have some YouTube super thanks from, from a county S, as well as Roger, thank you, Roger. And a big thank you to my wiglets. Yes, my members here on YouTube, Larissa, Jake, Samani, Steve, Pearface, Sponge King, me. That's right, I'm my own member. Cuervo, Vera, Just BKZ, Roy, Duke, Ernie, and Jacob. And our newest member, JT. Thank you all so much, my wiglets. You know I adore you. And if you're wondering what that is, we have started a YouTube membership here at James Mansfield's channel. That's that's me, where you can become a wiglet, yes, where you get badges as well as emotes to use during my live streams and in my comment section, as well as exclusive content like photos and more. Become a wiglet today. All right, now this has been so much fun. I have to eat this now, so excuse me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye y'all. Now hit the outro. Click here to recreate Nymphia Wynn's iconic banana wig or it's the iconic blondes. Jennifer Aniston. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll make you finish an entire chocolate cake by yourself. So click it. It's going for a